It's Kill And we live on Kill em TV Shout out to you First and foremost I am your host Kill em Castellano And uh, let's get right into it The Clips is back On a track Called Use This Gospel Now first and foremost I gotta give a big shout out to Kanye West For putting this together These two brothers and they, and they are brothers Haven't been on a track together Since They was the Clips Which was years ago You know what I'm saying And every time in interviews when asked You know No Malice would say Like you know he's not willing to do Another uh, project as the clips uh, But on the other hand Pusha T would say like he's willing to do it It's not on him um, You know his brother would have to Agree to it So I think that it was genius For Kanye to work About a spot For them on his album Jesus is King To get those brothers back on the track together man. And the track is a banger I don't care what the critics say you know, I'm not one to go along with the crowd. I stand out and I stand alone and I'm OK with that. A lot of people are not. So they feel as though they have to bend and break the rules so they could fit in or try to attempt to fit in. Because you're never really going to fit in with being somebody that you're not any old way. And I'm saying eventually uh, things will get exposed. Things will happen. And, you know, it, it just won't be a good outcome. But either way, that's neither here nor there. Um, I think that was genius of him to put them on a the track together. And, you know, uh, No Malice was able to deliver how he chooses to rap now, moving forward. And Pusha T was able to adjust and, you know, make reference to using this gospel. You know what I mean? What the title of the song was. And... You know, staying in pocket, man. I think that was dope. Like, that's, that's got to be one of the top hip-hop moments of 2019 for me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I honestly didn't think I would ever hear them on a track together again. And for them to be on a track together, I think that that's dope. And um, I don't think No Malice Integrity was compromised to do it. And I honestly don't think Pusha T's Integrity was compromised to do it. You know what I mean? I mean, he may not be going hard, pause, but he may not be going as hard for um, gospel music as no no uh, malice is. But, um, you know, he does proclaim to believe that there is a guy and he was able to speak on it in his own way on this track, man. And I think that was dope. And I don't even think Kanye rapped on that joint. He just sung the hook, which... You know, it shows that he's, uh, you know, not a stingy person, man. He's willing to share. Um, nine times out of ten, you look at his album, the credits. It's a bunch of different people on there getting credit for the, the roles that they play on his albums. And um, I think that that's dope. A lot of people won't give credit to where it's, it needs to be due. But, um, you know, he does. So that's dope in itself. Um, the track, the beat was hot. You know what I mean? The hook is catchy. It's, 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 it's hot. Um, it, is it me or was they coming at each other a, a little bit? Not in a, in a um, you know, like a battle form to where as though they dissing one another. But was they, was they versus directed toward one another? Because I know at the end of No Malice, John, he says, um, you know, just hold on to your brother when his faith lost. Was those just lyrics or was the actually bars directed towards his brother, Pusha T? You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I, I, I listen to bars very intently and um, I just hear it differently than maybe the average person that doesn't listen to bars so intently. So, you know, some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. Others might not. But um, I don't know. Overall, man, I, I thought that was dope. That was... Uh, that was that's history right there whether you like it or not or whether you choose to acknowledge it or not that's definitely a historical moment and um kanye was able to put that together man so shout out to him shout out to um push t shout out to no malice aka malice one half for the clips uh maybe they might end up getting back together on different terms or maybe they might not ever do another track again but for now we got this one 
and uh that's a beautiful thing man so shout out to them make sure y'all like comment share subscribe um get these videos out man help me um get these numbers up and get more viewers because uh you know we we doing this for the people man so hopefully we get some flowers sooner or later and uh hopefully y'all appreciate what we do here at kill em tv um we take pride in what we do we honor um the lives of others and uh we just want to carry it in an honorable way and not you know with the foolishness or the goofiness just to get clicks and uh just to get followers or whatever like that i mean that's cool that's dope and all of the above but um integrity is first and foremost and uh that's what we strive for that's what we live for so make sure y'all tune in to that link in the description uh you know you can follow us follow me at 215k another k a s t i l a n o follow kill em tv at real kill em tv on ig and twitter um, and if y'all ever in Philly, man, or if you live in Philly, make sure you get the Germantown section of Philly, uh, 5810 Green Street, 19144, the music studio. They got the best whip shea butter around. They got some of the best um, whip shea butter that there is um, by A&K on Natural Ink. Make sure y'all go pick that up. They got nine different flavors. Um, you can also pick that up at A&K All Natural Ink on Instagram. Um, hit them up, put some orders in, they ship out all of the above. Um, they got t-shirts, they got the I Will Not Shoot My Brother t-shirts at the music studio, man. Make sure you pick one of them up, that's very necessary, especially if you live in the city of Philly or if you just in any uh, city around the country, man. It's real out here and uh, we need to put the guns down and um, that's a fact. So make sure y'all tune in, man. You know, they got a lot of good stuff over there. The owner is a good dude. Um, his name is DJ Sean. So, you know, y'all go there, ask for him, tell him, kill him, sent you, and I'm out of here.